Okay, so if earlier we worked on your forehands, we'll be doing with your back end the same position, the same footwork. Move you up and back. You can have an idea of the moving in the court. So now let's start with the grip. Now, as you get the left hand into the continental grip, hammer, right? So it's similar as you bring your left hand into the hammer grip from the top. Then you bring your right hand clearly from the side as you stack your hands up together. And we'll go further more down the road. We'll go um, into more details on the grip. Uh, but for today, if you can basically have this knuckle from the index finger on bevel two to the left, yeah, that's your hammer grip. And that, that should be it. And then bring your right hand from the side, stack your hands up together, right? So stack them up, don't overlap them. And try to hit the back end like that. So stack them up together. Uh, then that should be that should be quite easy for your for your back and grip. Okay. Make sure you lower your left hand all the way close to the bottom uh, of the racket. Okay. Yeah, that's great. So right hand right from the side, stack them up. Now as you're in the ready position, so you want to have racket out in front of you, ready position. As you turn gently to the right, just make sure that the racket is back and up here uh, the tip of the racket is tilted above your wrist level okay so the idea is as you get into the unit turn you're going to set your left foot drop the tip gently and start pulling through the contact so again you want contact point out in front of you with the right arm going across your body as you go into the follow through there so we won't go too much into specifics today, into details. The more you get to the air, make sure that you you can wait for a split of a second with the racket up here, not down there. So wait with the racket, a split of a second up here, as you said. Then you want this motion to have a flow. You want fluidity in that swing path as you drive it through. Okay. All right. So one. Shadow swing, red position, you need turn up there, set with your left foot, so more perpendicular with the net, and then drop the tip, start pulling through contact in front of you, and then get your right arm across your body with elbows up. The reason why you need those elbows up in order to create the height so you can go under and over on your back end. So let's start with um, a couple of back ends as a warming up. Um, take a few steps up, Ali. Good. Turn to the right, gently. Step forward with the left foot. Uh, let the ball bounce once and you're going to swing at it. Swing, that's okay. So timing and rhythm, ready position. Turn to the right, step and swing at it. Very nice. Get your right arm across your body. All right, a few more. Turn to the right, set, bend your knees, get your right arm across your body. That's very nice there. Ready position, turn, set, get your right arm across your body and elbows up. Very nice. Two more, ready position. Unit turn, good, set, and swing and follow through. So a very good tip that you're doing it is having, in, as you go into the follow through, ending up with the racket on the edge up here with the elbows up. Uh, that's a very good tip over there, right? So make sure that you go all the way up to the contact point into the follow through, all the way finishing up over your left shoulder with the racket on the edge. That's very good, okay? All right, one more before going to the Footwork pattern. So you need turn, set, bend your knees, swing, and follow through. That's very good. Love those elbows going up there. But where do I, like, when I turn, right? I yes. Go here. Yes. With my racket. So with the racket, as you get into the unit turn position, 
going to have it up here. Oh. So shoulder level. Um, you want to space out a bit the arms and the elbows. So instead of having them tucked in on your body, you want to spread them out a bit. Why? Because as you said, you want to space out. You want to have some space um, between the ball and your body. In this way, you will have it um, into the sweet spot. You will hit it. You will hit a clean shot, a clean backhand right in the middle, right in the center of the racket. Uh, and this right here in the middle, it's called sweet spot. So this is where you want it. It's going to feel good, okay? Um, so we're going to have a variation footwork. So we'll be starting right at the baseline um, back there. And as we'll be moving diagonal, right? So this time we'll be moving towards the post that supports the net on the right side with every single um, back end, you'll be taking a few steps up. So take a few steps up, good. Turn to the right, set, let the ball bounce once and swing at it, yes. Uh, take a few steps up, turn to your right, unit turn, set, bend your knees and swing. That's very nice, get those elbows up, take a few steps up. Ready position, unit turn first, turn first, good. Elbows out here, bend your knees and swing. Very nice. Take a few steps up, unit turn, set, bend your knees out there, swing, watch the ball. That's very good, Ali, that's a beautiful backhand. Unit turn, set, eyes on it and swing beautiful love that right arm going across your body ready position unit turn set swing beautiful and one more ready position turn set and swing at it amazing all right uh now we'll be taking a few steps back with every single backhand you'll be hitting it so ready, position, turn to the right, good, set, and swing and follow through. That's very nice. Take a few steps back, good. Turn to the right, set, swing. That's amazing, well done, All right? I like these better. Though. You like the back ends better <laughs> than the foreheads, yeah. okay. You have better control. <laughs> yeah. Is it because you got two hands on the grip? maybe okay <laughs> you definitely have more control when you got two hands and that's also because it keeps your body more compact so it's easier when you have all your body parts engaged together uh, balanced and compact as you get the unit turn um, instead of on the forehand as your arms are spread out right so your left arm has to I'm sorry, in your case, your left, your right, so your right arm has to track the ball, the left arm has to hold the racket, and as you swing forehand. So that's the reason you find it easier on the backhand than the forehand. But no worries, in, or, in no time, we're going to get your forehands up to the test to the backhand. All right, take a unit turn, good, eyes on it, swing through, very nice. Love those elbows up there. All right, take a few steps back in an angle. Very nice. Unit turn, set, and pull through. All right, bend your knees there a bit because you have to go. We have to go under the ball. All right, ready position. Unit turn, good. Bend under. Very nice, Sally. All right, take a few steps back. Unit turn, set. And eyes on it, very nice. All right, unit turn, set, and pull through, very nice. Love that follow through there. With the elbows up, racket, it's on the edge up here. It's beautiful. All right, unit turn, set, and pull through. Amazing, well done. I feel like I'm hearing a golf a golf ball, okay, does it feel like golf? <laughs> All right, so still on the back ends, the next drill in this, um, this time we'll be moving up and back. So right perpendicular with the center 
center line, right? Are you familiar with the lines of the chord? A little bit. All right, so you, that line that you're standing back there, that is parallel with the net, that's your bass line. This will be your service line over here, that is parallel. The one that is perpendicular, that's your center service line, right? So when you're at the bass line um, and you have to serve, this is how you start a tennis match, right? So every single point in tennis starts with a serve. You'll have to serve into these two service boxes, right? So we have one service box over here and then another service box over there. So right now what we'll be doing with back ends, we'll be moving from the baseline, perpendicular towards the net. So you'll be taking a few steps up with every single back end shot and alongside the center service line. Okay. All right. So ready position, unit turn, wait for it, watch and swing through. Okay. Swing a bit faster now. Let's take a few steps up. Good. Ready position, turn, set and swing. That's very good. All right. Three more height, go under the ball, right? This is how we're creating height. So bend your knees under the ball and lift it over. Ready position, unit turn, set, and swing. That's very good, Ali. Amazing. Take a few steps up, unit turn, eyes on it, swing at it. Okay, let's try again. Go under, ready position, unit turn. Set, eyes on it, very good. All right, ready, unit turn, set, and pull through. Amazing. All right, now we'll be going back with a few steps, right? So every single back and shot, then take a few steps back. All right, ready, turn to the right, eyes on it, swing, very good, take a few steps back. Turn to your right, set, pull through, very good. A few steps back, nice. Turn to your right, set, pull through, beautiful. A few steps back, turn to your right, set, pull through, amazing. A few steps, good. Turn, set, eyes on it. Beautiful alley. Look at those backhands. You'll be turning pro in no time. All right. Turn, set, swing. Beautiful. All right. Take a few steps back. Turn, set, eyes on it. Beautiful. A few steps back. Turn, set, eyes on it. Pull through. Amazing. What do you think? That's You're hitting good. forehands and backhands. All right, so now we'll be putting these two together. So your forehands and your backhands, okay? So you'll be at the baseline on this side. I'll be going on the other side. I'll be feeding you some balls with a racket, okay, from across the net. So I want you to do exactly the same thing as we did. Ready position, turn on the forehand. Swing, get the, that arm across, get those elbows up on the back end, unit turn, set, swing. So you want contact point in front of you, get that arm across into the follow through, get those elbows up there. All right, let's see how things are going. All right, so back there, ready position. Turn to the left. Amazing, Ali, that's a beautiful forehand. Let's try again. That's all right, get those elbows up. Beautiful. All right, move up a bit. Yes, very good. All right, and a few up. Beautiful. One more. Okay. All right. Move up a bit. Good. Can you please push those two balls to the net? Thank you. 
All right. All right, move up a bit. Move up, move, move. Up, up, up. Yeah, very good run. Let's go. All right, one more. Up. Good. And we're moving back. So take a few steps back. Right there. Good. Take a few steps back. Bend your knees. Go under. Get those elbows up. Elbows up there. Good. A few steps back. Elbows up as you're going to the follow through. Okay. On your forehand. Yes. Beautiful. All right. Let's hit a few back ends. So you'll be turning to your right. Make sure you swing with your right arm across your body and you follow. Turn, swing, beautiful. Nice. All right, take a few steps up. Beautiful. And up, up, up. Yes. And one more, up. Beautiful. Take a few steps back now. Oh, yes, space out to be there. Take a few steps back. Beautiful. A few steps back. Space out there, okay? All right, well done, nice work.